the preliminary damage access assessment um, just means just that. We are, actually, we're here, we're invited here by the um, governor of the state of Minnesota. Right now we are in um, Clay County, um, the city of Moorhead, Minnesota. And the governor invited us here to take a look at the counties that um, were affected by the recent flooding of the Red River. Um, and what we do in a preliminary dis uh, dis um, disaster assessment, damage assessment, is to take a look at the damages that were reported by the local citizenry and um, assess what we see. We take the numbers and we give them to um, what we see to the governor of the state of Minnesota. And the governor looks at those numbers and makes a decision based on those numbers as, as to whether or not he would like to request um, an individual assistance disaster from FEMA. The process is um, generally we will um, knock on the door, introduce ourselves, let the people know that we are part of the uh, preliminary damage assessment team. And we will also let the people know that this is just a preliminary, as it says, just a preliminary damage assessment that it is not a declaration and that we are not inspectors, but we're just here to assess what, was ha what has happened. And we explain to them very briefly the process that I just explained to you. And then um, we will take a look at the damage. It, in this case, it's flooding. Um, so most of, most of the houses, homes in this area have basements. So we will go and take a look at the basements and um, see how much damage um, did occur. How much water? What's the water level? Uh, how long did the water stay? Is it sewer backup? Um, we will ask um, if their furnace and hot water heater, if it, that was affected. We want to make sure um, that we see the damages that are reported. And in reality, what we do is um, the local person, and if there is a state person with us, uh, we will go to all the areas that that local person wants us to see to make sure that we have all the numbers that um, is available so that the governor can make that request based on um, accurate information. My job, I, I enjoy it um, simply because it um, has given me an opportunity to help the, um, my fellow citizens in this country. It has given me an opportunity to actually um, make a difference in a person's, person's life when they have um, encountered a, a, diff a very difficult and um, generally unexpected situation.